Hey again today, got a little video for you. We're gonna be roughing in some electrical. I got a box here, gonna put a switch and an outlet. It's for my mechanical room. I gotta get some light in here. All right, we're gonna take these tabs to pound town and then back it up with some screws. Make sure that box don't move anywhere. And then we're gonna need to build the whip. And I jumped on the struggle bus for this guy. I could not find the end of this 50 foot cable of 3 8 Greenfield. But once we did, we're going to just take it out, lay out our uh, whip here. I'm going to just cut it down once we get our mark. Oh, look at that. Look at that technique. A little pen to the mouth. Just the marker, I should say. Don't, don't get any thoughts going there. And once you got that mark, we're going to bust out this little nifty tool for cutting flex in Greenfield. I'll put the link in the description. It's pretty helpful if you got uh, to do a lot of flex. Not a real electrician or I would have ran conduit. Just tighten it down, turn the wheel. That puts a little slit in the flex. Uh -uh. And then you're just gonna break it off. Nice and simple, clean cut. Then you're gonna get your wire out. I started with two, but that's not gonna work for your switch. And you just cut it to length, feed it through. Voila. You got a whip, that won't work because we need another wire for a switch. But I got a red one. We got it going here. Feed it in, get it roughly the same length. We got our whip, we gotta put our elbow on there because we want to run it flush to the ceiling in there. Can be a little tricky on the angle, but you can do it. I have faith in you. Once we tighten that down, we're gonna put the whip up into the box. We got the half inch knockout knocked out. If you're not on, don't let them shaky hands slow you down. Once you get that nut on there, sometimes it can be a pain. You're gonna take a, a screwdriver Get a little knock knock to get a little tight tight. A little bang bang. Beat ski. I believe that's what the kids are saying. What do I know? And then turn it up. I'm going to give it that little tightness so she's not going to move anywhere. Nice and snug. Look at that. Ain't going anywhere. Now, this is going to be the breakdown. Here we go. We are going to take our black wire, connect it to the constant power. And then we're going to take our switch wire and hook it to the load, which is a light at this case. And then commons going to get hooked to the commons. Pretty simple. A little tough to see in this video, but... Tying all your neutrals together. You're tying the switch to the light. And you're getting constant power to the, I guess it would go to the outlet in this case, and then to the switch. Questions, anyone? Now we got to notch the stud here so we can get our whip to the box. Couldn't find a chisel, so we're just using a flat blade and we're going to destroy this board. Poor guy. But now our whip will sit in there flush and we can drywall and nobody will ever know it's there. Feed it into the box, mess around with that little nut again that nobody likes. Well, maybe somebody likes it, but not me. Tighten it again with the screwdriver. Here we go. We're going to wire the outlet. Now this is what you've all waited for. So, let me break it down here for you. You got your power here, where you're hot. Look at that pretty hook. That's That's pretty. And you can put a nice little hook on the old neutral. Maybe. You can do it. You can do it. It's 14 gauge. Nice. Ooh. Check out the hooks on that guy. Make sure you put it on there counterclockwise with these screws. Your hot is always going to go to the gold. And your neutral will be silver.
once again, counterclockwise on the screws so it tightens in around your hook. Now we'll be adding the jumper over to the switch so it gets power. Again, beautiful hooks right to the gold and you're going to hook it onto the bonnet of the switch so when it's off your load isn't getting any power. Then here's our switch wire which we wired to the load. I know it's a whole lot of load talk but that's what it's called in this case the light. A little flick of the switch and you got some light. There I run off Make sure you wrap your outlets. Don't want any shorts in the boxes. Don't want to have any accidents, fires, you know, unexpected consequences of not wrapping your tool. I mean, wrapping the outlet. And then back to our regular scheduled program. We're going to snug down the outlet and switch. Once you got those all snugged up, we're going to go and... Uh, Grab the cover, make it look like something. These little screws can be a little pesky. But we got it. This is the GoV RGB WW. I had an extra light from my gym build, so I'm going to throw this bad boy in so we can have a dance party in the old mechanical room. Just a six inch. That's what she said! I already installed the breaker box, uh, the driver, I guess you would call it a driver. Put these little clips in, problem is I don't have any drywall to hook it to. So I put on my thinking cap and I thought, hey, why don't I just drive a screw and then I'll hook it on there. But that wasn't working. I couldn't get it to lay flat and I could only get it pointed at the one direction. So I thought, hey. What if I take a wire and stretch it across the bay and put the hooks on there? That's the ticket. That'll work. So I took some wire, wrapped it around the one screw, and then I grabbed another screw, put it on the other side, hammered it in there, hooked it across, and then I hung the light on it. Then we slapped that switch. Shield your eyes from the sober white guy dancing. And we got it. We got light. We got a dance party. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Job done.